Hey, how are you guys doing? My name is Soyan and you can see we're in a different environment than usual because today we're doing something special. Today I'm trying to write a song in 60 minutes or less and it's a totally original idea. Nobody has ever done it on YouTube, obviously. So today we're trying the same thing and it's also interesting because usually I'm hogging over a track for like over a year. It takes, sometimes it takes two years until I'm happy with a track and it can be released. So today we're doing the opposite. I'm trying to write a song in 60 minutes or less and then put it at the end of this video. It's currently Sunday and the video is supposed to go out on Tuesday. So we'll see how this goes. So here's the game plan for this one. So you can see my trusty little clock right here and as soon as we go you can basically just add an hour to that and you should see the same time on the clock once we're done with the song. So hopefully all of that works out, but we'll see. So I will be recording the song into this empty project over there in Ableton and I will not be using anything else apart from stock plugins and maybe I'll try to use the trial version for Soothe. That's a great plugin that I've seen just to make it a little easier to listen to because like my mixes are trash. This will probably be demo quality, but this is nothing more than a demo. Essentially, I'm just trying to get a sketch of the song done within the next 60 minutes and we'll just see how it goes. And I should probably show you guys what I will be using to record this song. So I will be playing into Ableton Live over here, which you guys probably know. And I will be using one pedal and my guitar. So the pedal that I will be using on this song is an octave pedal, which is from KMA Audio. It's called the Moai Maia. And it's an octave pedal that allows you to go up to two octaves down, one octave down and one octave up. And it includes a built-in fuzz. So whenever I turn it on, there's also a little fuzz effect that goes onto the guitar. I think it sounds awesome and it will just bring a little bit of more punch to the entire song. I will also be playing into Yujis and Ketna Attax 100 head, which is essentially the first amplifier that I ever bought. And it's a solid state amplifier and it's doing the job. This is the one that I'm using at home. And all of this is running into my Yujis and Ketna Edition Blue 60R and I have a mic placed in front of it. So that's just a combo. The head is running into to the combo and I just, you know, record whatever comes out of this speaker. Okay, so we're here, we're ready to go. I've got all the technical difficulties sorted out. I hope everything holds together and we can get this done in like an hour. So it's currently 7 p.m. and six minutes. So we should be done at around 8 p.m. and six minutes as well. So let's just get going. So usually I start by just figuring out any riff that sounds good. That's just how I start. And once I have something that I like, then I'll just go from there. So I guess we should start with the same thing as well. So let's just figure out a riff. Okay, let's do it. This sounds promising. This sounds promising. It sounds pretty promising. Let's record the first part. Okay, that's so far so good. I think that's a great intro and I think we can use this for our chorus as well. So maybe we just start with the chorus, you know, that's just what people do nowadays. So I am recording a second guitar on top of that to just fatten things up. And I'm recording a third guitar as well, because why not? But this one will be clean. Uh, it's good. Now we need a verse and I'm just gonna listen to some drums for a verse and then just put them in there to just have something to work with. Pre-chorus, let's do a pre-chorus. Maybe we'll just take one from this one. God damn, this is, this is tougher than I thought. Okay, so we got, so we got half this thing done. Now we're gonna copy and paste the chorus. 
Okay, so now that I'm done with the first verse and basically I can just go ahead and copy all of that. Repeat it! <laughs> That's beautiful. So, next one is... Next one is a little bit of a lead guitar in the chorus that I'm just trying to do put in there real quick. Bridge. We need a bridge. Now we need a bridge. Okay, so we're half an hour in almost, like 20 minutes, and we're pretty good on the way. So I don't know when this camera cut out, but we're at 7.32 right now and we need to be done at 8.06. So still have some time to go, but I still need to do the bass and I should probably be doing some vocals, but I don't know if we can get that done in like the next half an hour, but we'll see. I'll record the bridge part now and then we're pretty much done with the guitars. I hope, let's see, but then I'm going straight to bass. Time left. Oh, <laughs> yes, I like it. I like it. Let's go for it. I'm kind of miss talking to the camera in this one, but I'm under pressure. Let's just try, you know, I don't know how this video will turn out, but let's just go into the verse. You get the idea. Hey, so I'm done with guitars and bass. So right now I basically just need to mix this thing and it would be done like just the instrumentals, obviously. But we still have six minutes to go and I feel like there's a gap that I can fill with some vocals. So let's just try that. This one has bad lighting right now, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's not even on the right height. Oh, let's just bring this up, you know, so. Okay, let's just try that. Ah. Okay, done. Okay, so we are at 8 p.m. in six minutes. Like, we nailed it. You can see it over there. There we go. Uh, I didn't think I didn't think this was this was gonna happen. And the entire project is sitting in there. It's all been recorded, just like in an hour. Feels like it has been like a couple of days, but yeah, the entire song is finished. Um, obviously, it has no vocals except for one uh, part that has backing vocals right now. But I don't think I will add some on this one. Let me know if you want to see this song with vocals as well and then I'll make some. But like there was no time to write lyrics in this hour. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this thing as best as I can. As I mentioned in the beginning, it might just sound like trash or it, just, it will just sound like a demo essentially. But you will get the idea and I think that should be enough. So yeah, I'm excited to hear how it sounds when I'm done with it and, and then I'll have a proper playthrough for you as well. So yeah, I'll get working. Eight semesters later.
And there you have it. This is my attempt at writing a song in 60 minutes. It was intense pressure and I know the mix is not that great, but you know what, for what it's worth, this is quite okay. I expected worse to be honest. So. Yeah, this is my entry in that, bro. I know there's tons of videos like that out there, but I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let me know if I should put vocals on it, because I was tempted to do so, but as you've seen, we've kind of, you know, barely made it in the time that I had, so let me know if I should go ahead and put some vocals on this track. But with that, I'm gonna end this video right here. If you want to see more of these types of videos, then hit the like button down below, also hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss whenever I upload, and it just helps the channel, and it helps the channel grow, and it's been a week since the entire thing with Mr. Beast happened, but it feels like there's a community that's kind of settling in right now and that's, I don't know, that is, that's amazing. We have the community tab on this channel right now, so if you want to join the discussion then head over there and then, you know, we can just talk because I'm trying to post daily in there. So, you know, just head over there and you'll find a new post every day. So, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you had as much fun as I had making this song and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, stay safe. Bye.